Russian activists have protested on the streets of St. Petersburg against what they see as rising fascism and hatred against minority groups in the country. Last month, riots kicked off in Moscow after a Russian youth was reportedly killed in central Moscow by an immigrant from Azerbaijan. Ethnically Russian residents in the neighborhood where the knifing took place scuffled with police for hours after shops, vending stalls, and other sites employing migrant workers were vandalized. In order to appease locals, police rounded up more than a thousand migrants in one of the worst ethnic disturbances in the Russian capital in three years. Footage shows detainees being lined up against the wall despite not being accused of any crime. Not long after, Russian special forces hunted down murder suspect Orman Zanilov in a forest and showcased his arrest and brutal treatment, an act some saw as a way Putin could show his anti-immigrant sentiment. Footage shows the suspect being restrained, taken by helicopter to Moscow and hauled in front of the interior ministry. Activist Sofia Lubarova says the Kremlin's actions is adding fuel to the fire of anti-migrant protests. What's happening right now is horrible harassment and meetings against immigrants, LGBT, and everything. It's simply terrible. It's sparked by the government to take our attention away from horrible theft from us. And this is horrible, and we need to impress it upon everyone. Russia's gay community have also been discriminated against. In one case earlier this year, paratroopers clashed with police after chanting abuse and kicking civil rights protesters to the ground. The march was held to coincide with the birthday of human rights activist Nikolai Gurenko, who was killed in St. Petersburg in 2004 by neo-Nazis. Twelve skinheads were prosecuted and found guilty in his death in November of 2011.